Well, oftentimes a new year means new beginnings, but for a local mom and pop shop, every day is a step back in time. Tying a historic service with an ever changing world comes with its challenges, though. But as I learned, this labor of love is the perfect fit for two brothers focused on their father's dream. Good afternoon. Are we going to put new soles on the bottom of them? We'll just take this off and we'll, we'll uh, put a whole new tip on there and then we'll uh, clean them all up for you. My name is Dino Dieterlitzi. It's really a big thing right now. We're repairing so many men's work boots, putting all new soles on the bottom of them where there were times they thought they just threw them out and had to go get another pair. I'm a co-owner of Pasquale Shoe Repair. This is a repair strap on a woman's boot um, that ripped loose. That's our goal to make sure everything tries to look as close as possible to the original. Everything is glued. Uh, they don't seem to nail anything on anymore. All this stuff is basically by hand. It's old stuff off. You just gotta really work with it. I'm Mario Dietrichlitzi, oldest son, uh, co-owners of Pasquale Sharipa. Been doing this for almost 50 years and I don't want to quit. My dad made it to 97 and uh, still working here every day. He, he taught us everything. Even as little kids, we were here at five years old, cleaning machines and gluing things. And he said, you treat people well, and they'll treat you back well. A lady came in, wanted to talk to Pasquale. He says, I can't hug you. She says, well, I need a picture. She had found out that he had caught COVID and he had passed away. And she came in with that picture and she says, I want you to have this because this means everything to me. It was a big setback because he was such, you know, an inspiration for all of us. We've been here for 75 years. People come in and they say, um, you know, this is such a throwback and you know, you keep the, the old, old, old style things that they used to do when they used to fix shoes back in the, in the early days. And today it's such a throwaway world because they're using more plastics and the high end shoes are sometimes a little expensive so they don't get them. And that puts it a, a difficult for us because um, we can't fix them because it's a throwaway shoe. I would love to say shoe repair is booming and the way to go, but um, it's just not. It's just, it's half. We do a lot of things like luggage, um, backpacks. Um, we do um, leather jackets. Special jobs. We picked up baseball mitts a couple years ago. I had four kids, fabulous kids, and they all have great jobs. I wouldn't want them to stop what they're doing and come here and, and take over the business. So once we're, this generation is done, so is the shop. Well, they definitely are not done yet. Pasquale and Son Shoe Repair is in the same location where the business started 75 years ago on Upton near Verdan in Toledo. At one time, Dino says there was a shoe repair shop on just about every corner. I did a quick Google search and could only find three of those businesses in Toledo right now.